Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how to use US and metric rulers to measure length. First of all we shall discuss how to use US ruler to measure length. Before learning how to read this ruler you must know the symbols used for representing inch that is this symbol and representing feet that is this symbol. While reading this ruler you should have a good knowledge of fractions. In US a standard ruler is divided into inches and feet. There are 12 inches in 1 foot. The inches unit is subdivided into number of lines that are of different lengths. In an inch, the longest line in the middle marks the half inch and there is only one such line in an inch. There are two one quarter of an inch that is one by four inches which are represented by next shorter line in an inch. Here in this ruler these are represented by 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. There are 4 shorter lines that mark 1 eighth of an inch that is 1 by 8 inches and these are 1 by 8, 3 by 8, 5 by 8 and 7 by 8 and there are 8 shortest lines that mark 1 16th of an inch that is 1 by 16 inches and these are given by 1 by 16, 3 by 16, 5 by 16, 7 by 16, 9 by 16, 11 by 16, 13 by 16 and 15 by 16. In some rulers, they extend to represent 1 by 32 inches mark on ruler. But in most typical rulers, the smallest measurement unit is set to One by sixteen inches, counting the distance in an inch, there are sixteen lines that represent an inch to be sixteen by sixteenth long. However, in order to avoid complicated measurement, we often express the fractional units into its largest unit, hence an inch. Therefore, when you have 8 lines which basically represent the unit of 8 by 16, the largest possible unit of this measurement will be half an inch that is 1 by 2 inches. Similarly, with 4 lines, this represents the unit of 4 by 16 inches that is equal to a quarter inch or 1 by 4 inches. Now let us consider an example. Here we are given a 12 inch ruler And we have to find the measurement indicated by this arrow. Let us see it closely. We already know that in an inch, the longest line in the middle marks the half inch and there is only one such line in an inch. And here between 1 and 2, this is the longest line. 
So this line is representing 1 by 2 inches but this is to the right of 1 inches that means it is representing 1 and a half inches so the arrow indicates measurement of 1 and a half inches now we are going to discuss how to use metric rulers to measure length? Metric rulers are very easy to read because they deal with millimeters and centimeters only. Now this is a metric ruler. Now let us consider an example. Now here we are given a 10 centimeter ruler. And we have to find the measurement indicated by this arrow. Now here the smaller lines in the scale are millimeters and larger lines with numbers are centimeters. Here we have to see the difference between increment of millimeters and centimeters. You can see between two consecutive larger lines representing centimeters, there are 10 small divisions that is 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters or we can write 1 millimeter is equal to 1 by 10 centimeter. It means if you measure two lines after 1 centimeter then it is 1.2 centimeters or we can also write it as 12 millimeters. Now here the arrow is given at the third line after 4 centimeters so, it is 4.3 centimeters or 43 millimeters. Thus, in this session we have discussed how to use US and metric rulers to measure length. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.